What's up everyone? In the last video, we surprised one of my friends who is a pro Valorant player with a Valorant Jet hoodie and it turned out pretty sick. One of my friends is a fan of Hunter X Hunter or apparently it's pronounced Hunter Hunter or you know like this anime but I kind of like the vibe and the colors and I want to make him a custom hoodie and surprise him and hopefully he likes it so let's just get started all right so right now I'm looking for inspiration around the Hunter x Hunter world I watch I mean uh, some summaries on YouTube videos just to get the vibes of this anime uh, I'm not too much of an anime fan I do watch Naruto sometimes but that's really how far as it goes and I'm exploring around the character right here. I even printed like an X. I feel like something of this shape could be done. And I don't know. I'm still exploring. So just let watch me get through the process of this. And hopefully we get something mucho bueno. I cut a rectangle of the eyes of Gon. Which is like the main character of Hunter x Hunter. I don't really mess with his uh, outfit or his hair. I don't think like it's inspiring me or of anything. And this looks like a little more serious. So the hood goes like this. And I want to stitch them so that if you're not wearing the hood on. The eyes of Gon are looking at you from behind. So if you're behind the guy that's walking with his hoodie. You sort of have like an eye to eye contest with the character of Hunter x Hunter. Or Hunter Hunter. Hunter? Yeah, you, I don't know. Alright, so just to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like with the eyes. So imagine this is someone walking behind you. And the hood is like sitting like this. You would see the eyes like this, like almost like looking at you. Pretty cool. So this is the first detail, now we're going to move on to something I've pretty much never done on this channel, which is hand embroidery, and I'm going to show you some insane detail. We're going to go all around their hood, and we're going to do some sort of like, um, how do you say this? We're going to show a reference to his haircut, basically, because his haircut has some green, and I want to show some green here on the hood, and I have a cool idea, so let me show you. All right, today's day two or three, I'm not sure, but let me show you what I'm trying to do. So, this is him here, right? And I want to copy the detail on, on the sleeve, which is the red band here, the outer. I'm not going to do like a shade of green and, and red, green, red. I'm just going to do the last bit of, of red here at the extremity. The way it's going to look like, you have the cuff here of the hoodie, and I'm going to use... A this so this and i'm just gonna stitch it around around and we'll have like a sort of like a ring of red uh on the wrist area so let's get started i'm by the way i think the end result of this hoodie is going to be some of the best hoodies i've done in this channel so let's get it all right so i'm done with the sleeve details now check this out so as you can see here the sleeves are done i think it looks really dope I, I don't know, I've never seen a hoodie with this. And this could be like a detail I keep around. Because um, I think it's pretty original. Now I want to move on to this part, which is the front part. And this is from the logo Hunter x Hunter or Hunter Hunter. It's a Hunter in Japanese, I believe. So I use this piece of chalk to just uh, draw something on the, on the sweater. To make sure the position is right. I try from horizontal, vertical. I also thought about putting it here on the pocket. I don't know, this, seem, this just seemed the most uh, aesthetic. This feels right. This just feels right. But let me know what you have done in the comments. So I'm going to use this thing here. I think I have two. Oh, actually, I have a green one like this. It's not the same, actually. I might want to do the same color. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to head to the store and get the green that I want. Uh, I'm going to bring this with me. So... I get it to match. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the chalk. I think the positioning is perfect. This says Hunter from top to bottom. So yeah, let's begin. Okay guys, so <laughs> you're going to make fun of me, but I, I'm like one letter deep right now and I totally forgot that in Japanese you read from left to right. And look at this. So basically this is the logo of Hunter x Hunter and like here I was like, I was putting this on top and this on the bottom, but I should put this on top and this on the bottom. I should start from right to left. So I need to unstitch this. Oh my God. Oh. I'm done with this project. It's been quite the fun. Like it's by quite the fun, quite the learning experience. Honestly, now we just got to send it to my friend and see his reaction. The thing with this video is that he does not live in Paris. So we got to ship it to him and uh, wait for his reaction. He's a streamer, so he'll film it. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, déjà, regardez dans la boîte comment ça déchire C'est moi Juste le truc, là. L'ouverture bien présentée et tout. Direct. Le petit truc. Incroyable. Oh, c'est monstrueux T'es moi, gros Oh, t'es moi Du coup, ça veut dire que quand je l'aurai sur le dos, il y a les gens, ils verront ça. Oh, c'est monstrueux On devant, c'est simple. Moi, j'aime quand c'est pas trop compliqué, tu vois. Ah, il est cool de ouf Il est cool de ouf, gros c'est moi Du coup, les gens, quand je vais marcher, ils vont voir ça, gros. C'est moi C'est la bonne taille, c'est parfait Il est mortel Haha <rire> Les gens, quand ils vont me regarder mal dans la rue, je vais faire... Je vais être comme ça, ils vont me regarder mal derrière, je vais faire... <rire>